Have you recently purchased a new shop by Russa and need a little help setting it up? Well, fear not. In this video, I'll be walking you through the first steps you'll need to take in order to set up and play on it. To begin, you'll need to head to your server's control panel. A link for this should be sent to you when your server gets activated. When you're there, you'll be presented with this screen. Simply hit start. Now, you should be asked to select what server type you'd like. If you're unsure, it's best to select stable for the environment and latest for the version. Click continue when you're happy with the selection you've made. If you want to change this in the future, don't worry, you will be able to. The next stage of the setup process is where you'll set your server information and if you'd like to, you can invite friends here. Once again, fill out the information to your liking and click continue. Finally, review the server details and press finish. You'll then be presented with your server's control panel. This is where you'll interact with your server to change settings, upload files and whatever else you feel like. By default, your server should automatically start up and you should be able to join right away. To do so, copy your server's IP address to your clipboard by pressing the copy icon next to it. Now, there's three methods you can use to join the server. The first one is to join via the in-game console. For this method, you'll want to head straight into the game and press the F1 key on your keyboard. In the console line, type client.connect followed by your server's IP and port. Then press enter and you'll be connected. Alternatively, you can join via the Steam Server Viewer. For this method, you need to make sure the game isn't running and head to the Steam app. On the top left, navigate to View and then Game Servers. Here, click on Add Server and enter your server's IP. Then, simply select the server and press Connect. The final method is to connect via the Rust server list. Head in Game, click Play Game, and from here, you'll be able to connect to any Rust server. In order to connect to yours, you'll need to select one of the four options here. Community servers are for vanilla Rust servers. Simply search your server's name. You will have to set a name for it from the control panel. For a guide on how to do so, click the top right of your screen now or head to the video description. Modded servers are for Oxide Rust servers. Again, search your server's name here. Favorited servers will be any that you've either favorited, obviously, or any that you've added to Steam's server viewer and history is pretty self-explanatory and will show you any servers you've previously joined before. Once you've found your server, click on it to open the connect window and then simply select join server. Now, obviously we expect that you'll want to customize your server in some ways, so make sure to subscribe so you can get frequent guides on server setup and more, not just for us, but many other games too. If you require any assistance, please feel free to reach out to our support team using the link in the video description. Thanks for watching.